What have you learned about culture? What makes up culture? What are the things that make up culture? What did you learn? Food. Yeah, the types of foods you eat that get passed down from generation to generation. Huh? A set of beliefs, mores, uh, uh, rituals, ways of doing, all, all those, yeah, traditions, all those types of things, right? Those create culture. And when we talk about culture this morning, I don't want you just to think about ethnic culture. Culture is uh, what we might define as the commonalities that you would observe within any particular group of people. So not only do we have Asian culture, African American culture, but we have teacher culture. We have engineering culture. We have poor culture and rich culture. So we have, we have uh, I want you to expand your understanding of culture and think about that way as we talk about culture this morning. Let's, uh, let's take a look at a very, uh, very good definition of culture, one that I like a lot. Uh, it's, it's offered up by sociologist James Bradley. Bradley says that culture is the acquired knowledge people use to interpret experience and generate behavior. Culture is the acquired knowledge people use to interpret experience and generate behavior. We're going to take a look at that definition, break it up into three pieces, and see what each of those three pieces says to us about human behavior. Let's take this first piece. Culture is the acquired knowledge. What's one simple thing we can take away from that segment of the definition? You have to learn it, it, exactly. Culture is learned. We learn our culture through our experiences. We learn our culture through the people that we hang out with. We learn our culture through the neighborhoods that we live in. We learn our culture through the organizations that we've been a part of. Fortunately or unfortunately, we learn our culture through the television programs that we watch. Right? Now, I grew up in, uh, in inner city LA, Compton, Long Beach, Bellflower area. Uh, and so I have this kind of inner city subculture in me that comes out every once in a while. Uh, I navigate the inner city very well. I'm what you might say uh, is I'm culturally competent in the inner city. Okay? And so, you know, if you're gonna hang out with me for the next hour, I need to, to baptize you as, as my homies. You'll be my, you know, my educator homies this morning, my KISD homies. So I need to baptize you as homies. And what I'd like you to do is stand up. Everybody stand up, put, put your stuff down, stand up. And uh, you're gonna have to get out of your seats just a little bit, maybe not too much, but get out of your seats uh, uh, and walk around. And what I'd like you to do is to go around to as many people as possible uh, and do this. If you know them by name, read their name and say like, like Susan, Susan's right here, go up to them and say, Susan, you got it going on and give them a big high five, okay? So you got it going on and give them a big high five. That's, that's what I like you to do. Just take some time to greet those around you with that big high five and you got it going on. <laughs> 